What did you miss on Snowmobile Sessions this week? Thanks, Jeff. Thanks, buddy. Oh, that's that's a twenty-two dollar question, Jesse. Sorry, we don't get to answer that. <laughs> he says, "Do we know if there's a possibility of OFSE partnering with Ski Do for BRP Go this season?" I'm very curious, as that would really bring the premium gauge to life. As always, love what you guys are doing. We won't miss a week. Well, thank you, yep. Jesse. That's awesome. So, what do you think? I talk about Polaris too, because that's another one people have been asking about. Yeah, both of them. Yeah, r really good questions, and I'll um, I'll take the long way around, possibly almost giving you an answer to it, but I think you'll like the almost answer I give. So, <clears throat> the issue with with any non OFSC um, app or or GPS module has has kind of been two or threefold, and I'll, I'll just talk about them briefly. One has been change management. So, what type of API? What type of connectivity do you have from? Uh, our interactive trail guide, which uh, which is supposed to be the gospel, um, the single source of of information to any third party. So whether it's it's BRP or or Polaris, and uh, in, in a previous seasons there hasn't been a good um, a good solution for it. There there really ha wasn't a way to do it in a streamlined way when a trail changes from you know available to unavailable, um, or or uh, there's a, a major trail closure because of an infrastructure uh, washout or something along those lines, something where you need to really communicate that to people, uh, to riders in a, in a, in a quick manner. Um, that solution didn't really exist before. Um, and it really was one of the major sticking points on, on whether we were able to, to do it or not. So that was item number one. Um, item number two was crowdsource data. So if if we are entering into a, a data sharing relationship with with any OEM, um, we can only have one source of data. It can't be our data plus you know what what you guys come, what you guys find, um, because it, it won't match up. At some point, we're going to have uh, some issues with it. Not necessarily points of interest, gas stations, stuff like that. Like I, I think there's there's a, a place for crowdsourced data, um, and I think there's actually a really cool place for it in in snowmobiling. Um, but those two items, uh, the ability to have people acknowledge waivers, um, all of the boring risk management stuff, and, and that's and that's kind of the unfortunate side of this whole discussion is it's it's not exciting. Um, there's not exciting reasons why. It's more of just the legalities. All of those reasons previously this year were um, were kind of unfixable um, at the time. Now, over the course of the summer, uh, actually going back to the end of uh, the end of last season, last spring, um, really started to get our heads together with with the OEMs and say, "Hey, there's got to be a, a way to fix this. Um, technology is uh, relatively straightforward. Uh, we have good partners. We have willing participants. The uh, your customers want it. You know, OEMs. Um, our customers want it as in permit buyers. So, how do we make it happen?" So we've we have been working all summer um, and into the early fall, and I would uh, say that uh, there is nothing uh, formal yet, but um, it, I am uh, very optimistic that we will uh, be able to have uh, something um, in advance of this season. So um, that's the best I can give you right now. But keep your eyes peeled and your ears open, and uh, you should uh, you should see some advancement on it in the near future. Well, that's awesome. I, I wasn't expecting even that. So you know what? <laughs> right. That's awesome. That, that's I know that's what a lot of people have been asking for, and and so I mean that's that's very hopeful. So appreciate the now. Uh, why did why answer. did our numbers go from like a thousand people watching down to th three right now? <laughs> <laughs> that's it. That was the one question, right? Did you we can that catch the Leaf game now, right? Mondays on YouTube, or listen free on your favorite podcast app anytime you like. We're on our way to 20,000 downloads on Apple, but you can also catch us on Spotify, Google Podcasts, Amazon, and more. Snowmobile Sessions and Summer Sessions Live. Enjoy the ride.